Hey, David and Karen from Presence Videography. Thanks for joining us on the sea kayaking adventure. Port Townsend is a beautiful location for sea kayaking and has a great historic downtown with lots of interesting history, parks, beaches, and great restaurants. It has the stunning natural beauty of the Olympic Peninsula with nearby Fort Warden and its great campground and beautiful sandy beaches and the Point Wilson Lighthouse. Our kayak adventure starts at the boat ramp on the east side of the Fort Warden State Park and we first pedal north a short distance out to the Point Wilson Lighthouse for some beautiful views. We then pedal south along the beach to Port Townsend and take a rest stop on the beach just east of the downtown area. The third part of our trip takes us around the Point Hudson Marina, right past the waterfront of downtown Port Townsend, past the ferry terminal. We then take a rest at the Poor House for a drink and picnic lunch before heading back around Port Townsend and back to Fort Warden where we were camping. I'll share several tips throughout this video on currents, tides, winds, parking and more. This video is in 4K ultra high definition, so check your viewing settings are 4K to make sure you see the best quality. Enjoy! The first part of our four part trip had us heading north from the boat ramp along the beautiful beaches of Fort Warden State Park right out to the Point Wilson Lighthouse. The boat launch was nice and sheltered from currents, but soft sand near the end of the ramp, so we parked near the top and carried our kayaks down to the water to avoid getting our car stuck in the sand. The water was beautiful and clear, but also cold at around 55 Fahrenheit or around 13 Celsius, which is why we were both wearing wetsuits. As I rounded Point Wilson, there were great views of the lighthouse, as well as Whidbey Island with Mount Baker above. We checked currents, winds and tides ahead of this trip using DeepZoom.com. Currents were not significant along the areas we paddled on this trip. Winds were light at less than 5 knots and tides were near high tide. In part 2 we headed south past the boat ramp along the shoreline and high bluffs on the east side of Port Townsend all the way to a beach rest stop just before Point Hudson. One thing we noticed very distinctly is as soon as you get around Point Wilson near the lighthouse you start to encounter much bigger waves as you are no longer shielded by the long sand spit leading from Fort Warden out to the lighthouse. We prefer calm water paddling so we spent most of our trip on the inside of this natural barrier. 
and near the shore, both for safety and that's where all the interesting stuff to see is anyway. The water was really clear, with a beautiful sandy bottom most of the way. We saw many other sea kayakers on this popular route. It was an exceptionally clear day, and you can see the faint profile of Mount Rainier 100 miles to the southeast. That's the Port Townsend Marine Science Center. We saw these two otters playing near the beach on our way out to Port Townsend. Here's looking towards Port Townsend and Point Hudson at the end of the beach. Here's Mount Baker over Whidbey Island and zooming out to see Point Wilson, Fort Warden, and the historical Soldier Barracks buildings. This beach just before Point Hudson provided a nice rest stop.
This was a beautiful spot to kick back, get some sun, and enjoy the views. In the next leg of our journey, we paddled around Point Hudson, past the Port Townsend historic downtown waterfront, and on to the poorhouse where we stopped for lunch and drinks. As we rounded Point Hudson, you can really notice how clear the water is here, also quite shallow. That's the Northwest Maritime Center and the Tsunami Warning System top right. Just passing under the city pier, it's nice to be able to shortcut under the piers and stay up close to the historic waterfront. And that's the old ferry dock on the left and the cannery on the right. and Adam Street Park. Nice to have a coffee there and listen to some live music. And this is passing under the Taylor Street Pier. And that's the Tyler Street Plaza behind me. Here's the new Port Townsend Ferry Terminal, with ferries that go to Coopville on Whidbey Island.
and somebody just called lunch. There must have been some good fishing with this eagle also watching closely. On the southwest side of town we passed several waterfront hotels. And finally rounded the corner to see the poor house, our lunch destination. Not sure why all the cars in this town are reversing. Beautiful view of the Boathaven Marina, Kautai Lagoon, and Port Townsend with Mount Baker in the distance. We loved hanging out at the poor house, having drinks and some lunch while we enjoyed the beautiful view and sunshine. They had a few pub menu items, or you could bring your own lunch, which was great. In part four, we doubled back, paddling from the poor house, back along the Port Townsend waterfront, around Point Hudson, and to the boat ramp. That's the historic Victorian Square building behind Tyler Street Plaza. Hi. This is also a great place for paddle boarding. There's a lot to see and it's quite sheltered from waves.
Hope Marine Park is a great place for a picnic with the best waterfront view and there are a lot of great restaurants downtown where you can get takeout. Paddling around Point Hudson, you can see Fort Warden and Point Wilson in the distance. Thanks for watching. What a great kayaking trip this was. We loved the natural beauty, the sea life, the bird life, as well as paddling along the historic downtown of Port Townsend. If you like this adventure, you'll definitely want to check out our upcoming video of our kayaking trip in Vancouver, Canada. Subscribe and we'll notify you as we release that video. We'll also put a link in this video's description once published. Kayaking is fun in a group. If you have any family or friends that would be interested in this video, we'd love you to share it with them. If you have any questions or comments or updates on this location, we welcome you to share that in the comments section of this video as well. Thanks and happy kayaking. Bye for now.